You think men are as forgiving for women? No, we're not. Absolutely not. They no. don't forgive at all. What we do that at? <laughs> never, <laughs> ever. Yeah. So nobody's ever, you've never had to deal with a woman's indiscretions and took her back? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I have. Yeah, that's how I got a wife. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had to go, yeah. You know so what? she cheated on you? Yeah. But you cheated on her too. Why are we talking about me? <laughs> yeah. See, there we go. Problem here. Hello, what up? It's Lip Service. I'm Angela Yee. I'm Gigi McGuire. I'm Stephanie Santiago. I'm L'Oreal. And Tank is here. <laughs> and, Tank, hey. and I'm Tank. Yes. Hey. He already started before. Um, we, right. have to, we have to we chain late. him down to the seat because we don't want him acting nothing out. <laughs> I, just, I just have wild legs. Man. Just, you know what I'm saying? Oh, crazy yeah. Legs. We've There's seen those crazy legs, legs up in here. We've Look seen that. Legs. Yeah. Look at these. These are, jeans have a lot of stretch in them, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a, a Mary finally came out with like the male version of a woman's jeans. You know what I'm saying? Like with some, for with some, a man, get some give in this thing. So I can really. No, the Mary G's do have a lot of stretch. The Mary G's got stretch. Yeah. Look, I'm trying to tell you. Oh, I see. Okay. What Meek say he can well, fit you... about 30 racks in these Amiris, he's right. Well, you just sit down, all right? I'm going to stay gonna... seated. I got you. Okay. <laughs> we won't go viral. <laughs> all right, so let's talk to Tank. We were just talking about the things that guys say when they fuck up, right? Mm-hmm. And I always say one of the number one lines a man says is, I'm a work in progress. Mm-hmm. What are some other things that guys say when they mess up to excuse themselves? Oh, uh, man. Yeah, I'm only human. Mm-hmm. Um, or I'm just a man. Right. Um, I I love using the idea that we're we're flawed creatures. Yes, everyone makes mistakes. Yeah, see what see what whips men have to do. Like men have to like as as you continue to tear yourself down in the midst of your wrong, you have to build the woman up. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like you are the supreme being. Right. I'll never be you. I'll never be what you <laughs> don't are. Don't be like me. Don't be like me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I don't, I, I don't even cat. deserve you. <laughs> don't be like me Look at is me. one of the yeah, key like, that is. Look at me. I'm, I'm a mess. I'm a mess. I need yeah, you yeah. to fix me. I Help need me. you. If, if, if you don't <laughs> fix me, who will? Mm-hmm. There's a lot mm-hmm. of things I went through that I still haven't dealt with and I need you to make me a better person. That's right. You're here in my life to help me. Me. These are truths. <laughs> these aren't lies. I mean, we use them at, at an opportune time, mm-hmm. but these are truths. Right. I One seen my daddy did... do the same thing. You did? My oh, daddy. Yeah. I learned that from my, my uncles was like this. <laughs> Nobody taught me. Nobody was there to show me. Nobody was here to show me. <laughs> before <Teach> me. you. <laughs> I definitely had a guy say to me before, like, but I don't lie to you. I've only lied to you a couple times about women. And I'm like, well, that's a lie. That's, that's the whole the lie. problem. <laughs> but, but I'm not a liar. It was just about uh, women. Like, that's it. I hear what he's saying. We he's know. not a liar. He just lied twice. Doesn't that make you a liar? No, because I've done construction <laughs> a couple times. But I'm not a construction. <laughs> but you could always go back to doing construction. Uh, that's no, I can, that's not. I can go back. I mean, I I, I just did. I, I held the sign. Let me ask you this: If you stop singing, right? Does that mean you're not a singer no more? Mm. See, see what you're you're you're, 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 you're confusing. See. No, you're you're confusing the two because you're you're insinuating that he once was a liar. <laughs> right? So he's maintained that he's never lied. That's never been his position. Only right? about women. Only okay, so, okay. those two times about those two girls. So let's say a guy sucked a dick one time. Jesus Christ. Does that mean that... <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> say twice. You said twice earlier. Why are you guy so confused? sucked a dick twice. <laughs> I'm waiting so for I the rest of this. A guy sucked a dick twice. <laughs> twice. Does that make Am him I gay? gay? No, no. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay. Yeah, so, I just and, sucked a dick and, twice. And, and this is... A, this, this is Twice is twice is excessive. Okay, oh, so maybe, now like no, twice no, is excessive. But, but let's dig into it, right? Okay, <laughs> that sucked, he did. He sucked the dick once, right? Mm-hmm. And then he's like, "I'm not sure if I liked it or not." Let you know me try saying? it again. Let me try it mm-hmm. again. And then he says, "You know what? It's not for me. Don't like the taste." You see what I'm saying? So Don't like the taste. We're not talking about chicken. We talking no, about right. dicking. What? You know what? <laughs> dick in his jaw. Dick in you, his jaw. How you made a bar out of chicken and dicking? Because she's an artist at heart. <laughs> natural comes natural. Um, but it doesn't mean he's gay. It means he sucked dick twice. Okay. So just for the sake of your argument, that's okay. I got to, you. Because because the because the, the art of being gay is being gay. It's being. Mm-hmm. It's in a the, continual in the continuous state of being. Mm-hmm. So okay. if you lie ten times, you're not a liar. You just lie. Well, ten times you 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 damn near. That's fraud. a lot of. So practice. what's yeah, the yeah, yeah. so what's the limit? So anything above two, you get a second chance, and then if you keep it going, then yeah, there you, you are. You strike out at three. Yeah, okay. pretty much. You strike out at three. All right. Yeah. 
I think, I think we just made some, made some new bylaws. We did. <laughs> yeah, we just made we it should out. print this out. Yeah, we, we I don't know. What it's, don't worry. It's, 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 it's documented. It. It's, it's documented as we speak. They got to sign okay. it before you go into a relationship after <laughs> right. three times. You know you become a liar. But what if it's like, he, he's like, I only did it three times. It's the fourth. He's out. <laughs> yeah, he's done. And he's, he's out. out. <laughs> right. Strike out. out. Yeah, he's okay. Okay. He striked out. Three dicks, you're out. Ba-doom, ba-doom. Shh. Well, all right. <laughs> I like how you brought that down. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. But this whole work in progress thing, right? So it's just interesting to me because I feel like right now women get the short end of the stick if we don't forgive a guy. They act like there's something wrong with us, right? They'll be like, well, you know, you, you know, you guys got to work on your relationship. Nothing's easy. Da 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 da. Guys mess up. We take them back, and if we don't take them back, it's like something's wrong with us. We're not forgiving enough. You know, we're not. <clears throat> well, I'll say it like this: you have to, you have to know the spirit of a man, of a man, mm -hmm. or at least feel like you do, to be able to accept whatever you're going to accept, because there is. Um, you know, there are mistakes, mm -hmm. but then it crosses into a space where it becomes deliberate and disrespectful. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's where it's not cool. And that's where you have to understand what kind of man you're dealing with. You know what I'm saying? Like, if we're speaking of, if we're speaking in terms of two loving people who are in a loving relationship and, you know what I'm saying, as a flawed man, I've made mistakes, you know what I'm saying? And I've really needed my woman to take me back and really, I was really apologetic and really am sorry, you know what I'm saying? Like... Mm -hmm. You find yourself in that situation, then yeah, you got to build from something. Of mm -hmm. course, because it's not going to be perfect. But, you know, niggas just don't care. You think men are as forgiving for women? No, we're not. Absolutely not. They no. don't forgive at all. Well, we do that at? <laughs> never, <laughs> ever. Yeah. So nobody's ever, you've never had to deal with a woman's indiscretions and took her back? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I have. Yeah, that's how I got a wife. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had to go. Yeah. You know so what? she cheated on you? Yeah. But you cheated on her too. Why are we talking about me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And I didn't know what that meant at the time, mm -hmm. you know. And then years later, when we reconnect, and you know, we just kind of audit our past relationship and come, you know, come and we're, we come full circle, you know. Me as a as an older man, and I'm gonna tell you what changed for me. If I can, if I can switch, of course, yeah. mm -hmm. lanes. When I had daughters, um, and I started to understand the relationship, I started to truly understand the relationship between a man and a woman. Um, because like your daughters, that's everything, right? And no matter what they do, that's your daughter. Mm. You're not going nowhere. Mm -hmm. She ain't going nowhere. You love her to death. You love her to death. This is what it is. And to me, I felt like that same understanding needed to apply to the relationship that you have with a woman that you're in love with. Mm -hmm. If you're truly in love with her, like we riding, okay. Please don't do that again. Right. You know what I'm saying? Don't, 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 don't do that. As a woman, mm. I know, like, having been cheated on, you think about it, like, at random ass times. Yes, yes. And you, you think do. about it when you're in bed together a lot. Huh. Or, like, like when, when you're things are going sex. good sometimes. Yeah. yeah. You could be having sex and you'd be thinking, like, did he say that to that bitch, too? Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to need y'all to stop that. Okay? <laughs> how do you move We past can't that? help it. Because you've moved past it, so how do you move well, we past it? Well, we both had to move past a lot. Mm -hmm. And... It's it's just a conscious decision, and it's it's a decision that you have to make every day. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't stop. Like mm -hmm. it's never just you know, like you said, like because you it doesn't be, go away. You mm -hmm. could be laying down in the bed. You know what I'm saying? You got you got a full whole another situation going mm -hmm. on. You know what I'm saying? And you still thinking about you know what went wrong? You right. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. When y'all been have might have had two years of good times together mm -hmm. already mm -hmm. past that. But you know, it, it's a decision really that you have to make every day. You think men and women cheat for different reasons? Absolutely. So what would you say men cheat for and why do women cheat? Men cheat because we don't have no choice. 
Men cheat because what? they can. Oh my God. You always I'm, have a I'm choice. Out. You take care in charge of your own destiny. Well, you want y'all want to talk about the 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 the, the design of a man? Is that yeah. what I want to get into? Go ahead. How do y'all not have a choice? The creation of a man. Please. It's that uh, weird chromosome yeah. y'all you got that make y'all cheat. Let me tell you something. Y'all can't help I'm, it. Uh, it's uh, in your I was, DNA. I was being extra when I said we have no <laughs> choice. Um, but you have to understand the go back to how we were created. Like even think conceptually about how we're able to leave the house, right? And go do everything that we have to do. You may get a phone call from us, may not. You got to call us and check on us. Everything okay? What you doing, babe? Oh, I'm just at work, just getting it in. We're so dialed into what we have to do once we're gone. We're so dialed in to whatever mission we're on in terms of being soldiers, in terms of being providers, in terms of these. That's how we're in. And so when we leave, we disconnect. Hmm. We are completely disconnected. And when a woman leaves the house, what is she doing an hour as soon as she's gone? Calling, checking on the kids, calling the babysitter, have they eaten? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Calling you, calling their man, like, where you at? I was just checking on you. I'm, in, mm -hmm. I'm on my lunch break, but I'm just saying, make sure you good. Like, that's a woman stays connected. Mm -hmm. And we so easily disconnect, which allows room for distractions. Mm. Well, I guess I'm a man. <laughs> I just you disconnect. Disconnect. Stephanie nobody. definitely disconnect. I don't. Yeah. I don't check up on anybody. I don't. <laughs> I, I like like you said, men do. I go out and I focus on what I'm doing on handling my business. Yeah, and that's that's you don't me. feel like that's with certain people because I feel like I could disconnect. Oh. In a certain relationship, but it might be another relationship that I have later on that I'm I am connected to. So, do you feel like a person can change that as well? Um, I think a person can change it. I think the relationship can change it. It is definitely case by case, but for the most part, that's what that's what men are made of. Right. That's, so I don't want to get away why. from the the second part of this question. Yes, please. Why does why do women cheat? Right. In, in so your, women, <laughs> I feel idea. like I feel like now there's a new millennial woman. There's a new millennial idea mm -hmm. of women who operate as men, hmm. which is completely Hello. hi hi, nice <laughs> which is completely unnatural, but in evolution based on a need that we fail to provide. So we'll get into that. But I feel like women cheat because there's a deficiency somewhere. Mm. If a woman is with a man and he's doing everything he's supposed to do. Um, everything. Let's say eighty-five percent of what he's supposed to do. Mm -hmm. That woman will stay home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. If, I agree. You're as right. As soon as a man starts falling off hmm. in areas that made his woman feel special, there's a void that need to be filled. That void. That there's a void that, and it's not even a need to be filled because a woman doesn't know it needs to be filled until that other guy starts spitting that good game. Mm -hmm. She don't even realize how caught up she is into that conversation until she looks at her looks at her phone and she's got like three missed calls and an hour and a half has gone by and she's three drinks in. See, I don't know about gender roles anymore like that. Because like Gigi and Stephanie will tell you, and Loria, are you the type to check up? Like, like no, that? I'm not. I don't not. think I am either. None of I us. I used to. It depends. Like I said, on the relationship. It depends on the relationship. It depends Check on in. the relationship. Some people, I might feel like I do want to speak to him or what's going on with him. But if I really don't like you like that for real, I don't care yeah, what you're doing. But it, but love. But then if that's your man, of course you I like mean, him. But I'm not speaking like relationship. Somebody else. Like, so I, relationship I, wise, maybe. Yeah. I could be totally in love. I'm not calling you all day. Don't call me all day either. Like we could speak. We know we keep in touch. Let you know. Let each other know what's going on. I don't need to speak to you all day. What I think it depends on what you do. It, what, like my boyfriend texts me probably more than I text him. See. Mm. That's different. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, do you, you feel you like you're to... handling a little bit more kind of things than he is? Though, like, yeah, I probably I'm a lot more like too. out running around during the day. You know what I mean? Like and you and you and you interviewing Tank today. He played. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get what I'm saying. Which was pop. How's, how's work? I see, and I, I think that's a difference too. It's I feel different. like when yeah. he knows, or not just him necessarily, but in our field, field. it's like. Oh, you went to the studio with who tonight? Okay, I wouldn't date somebody that good? felt like that though. No, but they're not gonna show not, it like it's that. Not, it's unconscious. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's we're not. just. We're just I don't feel like my boyfriend is like that. He don't really be like nervous about. It may not. not it may not even be conscious mm -hmm. for him. It's just we want to know where our stuff is. Mm -hmm. You know. Now what I'm listen. Saying? Let's talk hey. about you for a second, Tank. We'll talk about. It. All right. So talk about it. what? Um, getting married, right? Let's talk about things that, because there's things you think about that. I'm going to do that with my husband. Mm -hmm. Are there things that men think about like, 
when I get married, I'm going to do that with my wife in the bedroom. Like things that you haven't done, and it's the first time you've done it after you got married. No. I, I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. No, we are not doing that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> a little more pure <laughs> than what he was and not even, trying. And for me, like, I mean, I've, I've known, you know, me and Z have known each other since 2000. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we've, we've, you know, we've, yeah. we've, we've, we've been at this off and on for a long time. So, I mean, <laughs> Last week when we got married, like you were married, I go, you know what I'm saying? It's like it's we didn't years, have to try yeah. anything new. Like we had, we had tried everything. We was like, that's really good. You know what I'm saying? So FYI, I didn't know that. I just learned that you guys were, you know, that long. But hanging out with y'all and seeing how you all are mm-hmm. just like meshed and connect, like now I get it. Right. Yeah, like that's my, for lack of a better word, like that's my dude. Right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like that's, that's, my, be. that's my nigga. You I know think that's the like, best relationships yeah. is when you yeah. could be like. Real good best friends yep. or whatever, like mm-hmm. homies, and oh, yeah. she know all yeah. your shit. You know all Absolutely. her shit. She can't yeah. surprise me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She can't. Su- you can't. She can't shock me. Like mm-hmm. nobody could call me and say, "Man, your girl up in this hotel. Turn this thing out, man." I said, "Man, tell her to come home when she finished. I'm sick of her doing this shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'll talk to you later." Like she can't. Su- she can't shock me. Right. So if she so, pulled out a new trick in the bedroom, you would be like, "Does that ever like happen?" Someone's been watching porn. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Or whatever. You know right. what I'm saying? If 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 I enjoy it, I don't. Mm-hmm. I don't have any questions. Mm-hmm. Nice. I'm cool. I don't. I don't think that far. You know right. what I'm saying? Just take care of me. Do girl, Do you guys think about that? Like, I'm not gonna do this till I get married. Like, some people be thinking like this is for my husband. No, sorry. No. <laughs> what? No. Anybody can get it. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> and, and 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 you might not know this, but I'm single now. So I'm oh. on you. Oh lord. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, because he knows uh, he knows me right. from my relationship. I feel like so. this. I mean, in terms of sex, you know what I'm saying. In terms of saving things, like I, I just, I just have this firm belief that 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 every like sex is not just sex; it's a sexual experience. Like every time has to be the championship. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's how I've always operated. Even the first time that you have sex with somebody, because oh, you know, a championship. Don't you feel like we be holding back a little bit the first time? Like, all right, I'm gonna do this. Okay, but yeah, listen, I not do the whole thing. You can try that whole back thing if you want to. <laughs> I'm gonna pull something about body. Yeah, yeah that's, I that's think, my job. And that's a case by case scenario it. for me. It. it depends on the chemistry with the person <laughs> and how I'm feeling and, and, and how I feel them. And for right. me, we don't even get into that space unless there's the kind of chemistry that that allows for that. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like it's gotta be like it's gotta be some real eye contact, some real spiritual connections, some vibes, because we gonna do some soul time. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Right, right, right. We're gonna get butt neck all the way. <laughs> like there's certain Taking things that the off. first time I have sex with somebody, I just don't think I would do. Like, mm. like I don't want you to put your finger in my butt the first time we have sex. Mm. I don't think I'm I gonna put my thumb it. in the butt. I don't think I don't I don't think that there should be a rule. Like if, if I don't, you, yeah, if I don't, you know, I don't, know, I don't know if I'm comfortable Ooh, enough yeah. for that. But if, what if it's just amazing sex and he if right. the finger go up there yeah. and she just be like boop? Oh, I, wow. I'm not putting I'm not putting <laughs> rules and <laughs> and, do and so thanks for stop the signs on. It's not a rule, but I just know how I am. I know that like I think that I'm very like the first time I have sex is gonna be more like I did it almost. <laughs> oh, <I got> <laughs> and you had back up. And then, like, I don't think you should let somebody come on your face the first time you have sex. That's kind of extra. Have, you have That's... way too many rules. Yeah, to be that, having sex. Now that, okay. And you know, we come all on, know I love a facial. Sex. Don't put like, on my face. And don't first time, do it. We all know I love a facial, right? And I don't think I've had sex with a guy for the first time I let him come on my face. So, yeah, I think that's I like the that first one. time. He's going to come in the condom. He might can come on my ass. <laughs> we talking about condoms now? So, yeah, this is the thing, right? We take now, slow down. Hold on, you, you, you <laughs> slow down. Hold on, first of all, you slow down. I'm married. You're married. I'm married. We're talking about first time. I'm okay. newly single, so I'm, I'm using condoms again, okay? Condom. Well, condom. What condom? I'm what having condom, condom sex right, right now. Yeah, I didn't do that. <laughs> the sex I'm having right now is definitely condom sex, because yeah. I'm newly single. Okay. That's yeah. That's I wasn't the, having condom sex for a really long time. Sex is what oh, that is. Oh, man. Oh, well, you know, safety first. Take the condom off with everybody. Now, I'm not saying the condom right now. Come on, baby. That's what I mean. But the condom is right. Right now, <laughs> but if you're gonna if if we're in a place where we can ready to have sex, you know what I'm saying? We can ready get to it. We can ready get to it. Yeah, yeah. Like this is. Yeah. Who knows what's going? What's what this may spawn? Hmm. This but could I, turn into a lifetime. This can turn into a. <laughs> I want to know what it's all about. And you're not gonna film it the first time, right? No, I'm no. not gonna film I'm it. Gonna the film first it time. See, that's what I'm saying. No, I, I don't film it all. No, but I don't mean neither. I'm surprised you don't film. Sex. Me too. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised too. I don't film sex. So then you on the road, you can't just look at it. Not even like a little. I have, listen, I have a vast imagination. <laughs> when I say vast imagination, I have a 
fast. <laughs> I remember my first time. I remember really? her house. I remember her bedroom. Damn. I remember the phone ringing. I have a vast. How old ringing. were you? Um, it was a house phone. A landline. Yeah, it, it was a house phone. It was a landline. Was it wasn't rotary, right? Fifth grade. I was, grade. I was in fifth grade. Seven, fifth eight, grade? Nine, ten yeah. years old? Wait. That's very You young. beat me. Shit. It's a neighborhood. Damn. How old was, was, was the girl? It was the neighborhood thing. How old was she the She was like 12. Damn. Damn, y'all yeah, was yeah. young. My first time, we were like 11 and 12. She had hair. She had hair. We yeah. were like 11 and 12. It was wild. 12 and 13. Did you know what you were doing? No. We I mean, no I knew we I knew, doing. I knew, how to move a little bit. You know what I'm hey. saying? I knew Damn, where to aim. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I knew I only needed 11 to 12 strokes. All Come on, I stroke needed. number. And I'm out! <laughs> I hope the stroke number went up. Come on, oh, stroke number. I mean, <laughs> now, I mean, now it's about time. Come you know on. what I'm saying? <laughs> now, it's, now we put in time. It ain't strokes no more. It's okay, time. time. In fifth grade, I didn't know anything it's, about sex. Like, I didn't really it, know anything. In fifth grade, I was fifth having sex. I didn't really know anything. Oh, yeah, I was... I was I, I, I was touching and rubbing on coochie in fifth grade. Yeah, once Girl. once a little blood. Those are yours. Once a little yeah. blood rushed into my thing. I was like, Nine years old, I had my first experience with a woman. A girl. I was, oh, nine, so years old? nine years old. Oh, we were, yeah, yeah. You, I was curious as a kid. Mm -hmm. I didn't have my first sexual experience until I was a teenager, but Me I was too. I was I watching Channel Thirty Five. I'm from Manhattan, and we had Channel Thirty Five, and I was masturbating when I was like, so, you know, like there was a lot going oh, on at Chelsea when we were kids. Yeah, you had Not some <laughs> we didn't have that, but there was a lot going on back then. You you from the you're from the city. You had Brooklyn. Channel Thirty Five. I just remember yeah, Brooklyn had the through same. the channels, and then you would see a little bit of something, and then you had to keep on yeah, switching back the, to yeah. see it. You go back, back yeah, yeah, because yeah. It'll, it'll go it'll out. It'll go out real yeah. quick. It'll go out. See, but I would see that and my dad he lived in Manhattan so I would yeah, see that so that's why I figured it was Robin the same. Bird. but my sisters was older and, and they had real sex they used to be watching real, real sex, sex. on HBO so that's what I really saw was when my sisters would be sneak sneaking on my cousins real sex didn't never make sex look that appealing I feel like I think it was it anything didn't. when you're yeah, young it wasn't. when you're young yeah, it's, yeah it's anything, anything like anything. an elbow anything. that anything. looked like a titty you no, was like oh my god I used to stay up to to wait for the Wait for the cable stations to, you know, to switch to the To switch, <laughs> yeah. yeah. To the porn shit. I remember me and my dad used to have have like Mexican standoffs, you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> dad would be sitting on that couch and I'd be sitting on the couch. And like, <laughs> one of us going to bed. You know what? You gotta go. Because I'm going to touch myself tonight. I promise you that. But the crazy you either going to be is, sitting here with me. Or yeah, <laughs> y'all were both waiting for the same, same thing. thing. <laughs> exactly. You got to right. watch it together. Yeah. Come on, Dad. Just yeah. go on in the bed with my eyes. I know what you're here for. <laughs> <laughs> you could have gave a nigga some pointers or anything. You see what left, he's left, left me out there by myself. My parents used to have VHS porn tapes like hidden. Oh, no. Yeah. Yes. And, yes. And, and you had to rewind them back to the exact number. And you had to put it right back home. where you found it. Yes. No way. And it would be like mislabeled or, some, or no label at all on it. And mm -hmm. then you had to wait till they went out and watch them. Bro, yeah, what if you put it in and, in and it was them? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. <laughs> that would be my sick. Father, my father. I used to go my father's stash. I, I used to go my father's stash so much to where I, I built my own stash, stash and I stash. became like I was I was like the porn king of you know of all, amongst all my friends and they would come to my house and borrow tapes <laughs> no and way. DVDs oh no I was a guy did you I care about plots ever I care about plots yeah I used to Mm -hmm. um, but no, I don't mm -hmm. care about plots. Because I remember you know the first porn I saw was this movie called The Pleasure Hunt. <laughs> what? The Pleasure Hunt. I'm mad you remember it. <laughs> no, I just remember it was called The Pleasure Hunt. I don't. And it was like some girl, and she was like going to different places, like it was a map, like it was like a treasure hunt. <laughs> yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to plot. Y'all taking too long. I don't want to plot. Yeah, I, I just want to see the action. I, it, that sound like it's <laughs> outdoor sex. And I'm big on too. angles too. I don't porn. like outdoor sex. I'm not I want to see it actually <laughs> happening. Like mm -hmm. I don't want to think that you're actually. I don't want to think that you're eating pussy. I want to see the tongue in the pussy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. I don't want to see you humping from the side. I want to see the see, dick yeah, going in yeah. the pussy. Yeah. Like, I need you to want see that it. real that POV. Yeah. 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 yeah, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. And, yeah. and now with the porn, you can be so very specific yes. about your what you about your search. Mm -hmm. exactly. You know what I'm saying? I, I, it's, it's just a great place for porn. Right Isn't now. it the it's worst great... when you're like, okay, this is the part, and then they like show the person's face? You like, and you're no. like, why the fuck do we care about watching someone's face no. on porn? Because they're not really coming. Well, it depends. Dep no, <laughs> sometimes. Or they like don't. you see them kissing and they're like showing them kissing. For you're like, what the fuck do I want to see this part yeah, for? It's I hate porn. That. I like kissing. So you could not me. come from just watching people kiss. No, but I think that's a part of it's it. If they're kissing up. good, mm -hmm. if they're if they're doing some good quality kissing, 
And it's part of the action to point out. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the that. I hate shit. when the cameraman it. pans into the face. Like, come Me on. Too. I don't care. Especially when the girl's not cute. Hey, I don't want to be that cute. Nine times out of ten. If a, if a girl is having, a, if a, if a woman is having an <laughs> orgasm, I want to see her face. But what if she's ugly? These bitches. Be Even ugly. if she's cute, she There's making no an ugly face while she orgasm. Right, like listen. I got some homemade porn in my phone right now. <laughs> I got some homemade porn in my phone right now, and I was watching the playback, and I was like, "Oh, I look crazy!" <laughs> damn, like you know what I'm saying? Like you don't yeah. see nobody's face. You, yeah. um, oh man, I don't even want to do this to L'Oreal. Oh God, what now? No, I was just thinking about a porn star and something. I don't know. Go anyway, ahead. I don't give a fuck. What'd you do? <laughs> what did it I wasn't do? her. Oh. But imagine like your boyfriend cheats on you with a porn star. Oh yeah, my boyfriend cheated on me with a porn star before. <laughs> Ugh, and she was ugly as fuck but and that, a milf. But that wasn't that was a more milf. of a fantasy thing. That wasn't any that wasn't like a real cheat. Yeah, he was so All mad cheats that are I real. found out about that shit. That wasn't a real cheat. How did you cheat? find All out? All cheats are real. I, how did I find out? Oh, that bitch told All me. cheats are real when me. she do it. Hmm? All it's not true. Real. If a if, if if a man can stop long enough, <laughs> and stop being sensitive long enough, stop being a baby long enough to oh ask God. the right questions, stop being a baby and figure no, out, so, so, figure out the problem we and get through, work through it. Yeah. No, and, 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 and like understand this. why we were talking about gender roles before, and I, you know, I like I said, sometimes I feel like I disconnect and I have a lot of masculine traits to me, but I feel like men are made for forgiving. Women are not. I don't feel like women should be forgiven as easily as men. Oh my men. God, I don't agree with that. What? <laughs> so, I don't. Come on, Stephanie. Because I feel like we, as women, we cheat, you know, from the heart. We don't cheat, like, from our, you know, pussies. That's like, not a true man all cheats the time. From his it's, dick. it's true most of the time. A nigga I feel can like leave a, a man baby just in wants a to but, fuck. Right. A woman, when she cheats, it's because she had a feeling. And it's like, can you really? I think a lot of women cheat as payback. For I, can I don't feel like if I cheat on right. my man, I don't feel like I should be forgiven. That's so the number easily. one reason I think why the number I one did reason, cheat mm -hmm. because it was payback. It's revenge. Oh, you did it. I'm gonna yeah, do it back and try to make too. me feel better. But that's what I'm that. saying. That's um, that's a little unforgivable. Now you took well, I mean, not, not even if, at least I mean, you have a reason. If, but you know if it's even at this point, if it's even, then all right, let's move on. Yeah, now see, move on. Let's get back to our regular schedule. Get back to regular schedule. Yeah, I feel like it's better to do something with a reason. I'm, for, I'm forgiving because I just I just know what I've done. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I know what I've needed forgiveness for. What have you done? Huh? Like, some shit? Give us some examples. Like, what's the worst thing you ever did to a woman I that think you that, felt bad about? I think about? that's it. Cheating. I think, I mean, I've been married before. Mm -hmm. And I was, you know, you got you to gotta picture me being, you know, 24 years old, fresh in LA with a hit record and Shaquille O'Neal at your birthday party. Yeah, right. he was fucking everything. Like- Hmm. I I did I didn't. There's no book that tells you how to handle. I had nobody all to teach of this. me. And he could say I had nobody to teach me. I had nobody to teach me. I had my young muscles, <laughs> my young <laughs> testosterone. <laughs> Come on, like I, I I'm on the road four days out of the week. So why'd you get married? I I mean I thought that I wanted to get married. Mm -hmm. You know I loved her and we you know it was because it was simple. We were living in you know we're living in Maryland and. You know, I we wake up in the morning, I take her to work, mm -hmm. I go to the gym, go to my mama's basement, mess with my equipment, go pick her up from work, go back home, <laughs> we should eat get married. some food, right. hang out. Like, we had a thing mm -hmm. that felt great and was ours. And I, I didn't know that moving to L.A. and establishing my career would alter the fabric of our what relationship. Right. It, or even change me, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, completely as a man. Um I didn't know that. Right. You know what I mean? And so the success also that came with all of that. All of that. And so that's and you know, and, and when I talk to young guys, I always encourage them. I say, make sure you're established in who you are, in who you want to be before you bring somebody into the party. Mm -hmm. Start adding people to that because you're going to change. For the sure. things you like are gonna change. You know what I'm saying? For the the majority of it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like you get around and see this world. See what the world has to offer mm -hmm. versus just your neighborhood. Mm -hmm. mm. Your thought process time. completely changes. Right? I agree yeah. with that. No, I say that all the you time. You gotta know yourself and have your stuff together and know, you know, live in order to bring somebody else into. And I feel like now, like even the point I am in my life, like I, I have a new job and everything. I moved to a new city, and people are like, "Oh, you're still, are you still single?" Yes, because I'm still figuring out stuff for my own self. Right. That doesn't mean I'm not dating. That doesn't mm -hmm. mean I don't talk to people. But I, I don't have as much time for someone else because I'm focusing a lot and all of my time on me and yeah. my career. You got to do it. 
Mm-hmm. You got to give yourself that time, that time to discover who you really are and what you really want. Mm-hmm. So when did you know it was over? What was your over? first marriage? The first marriage. <sighs> Pretty early. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Pretty early. <laughs> it was uh, no. It was. I mean, it, I think. I think the marriage like really lasted maybe about three years. Three years. Three, three okay. and a half years. Um, and you know, I, I showed her that. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Um, I showed her all of that. And it just didn't. I wasn't ready. I didn't know how to handle it. I was. I was a very young, immature kid. And, right. Twenty four you know, is really young. Really young. Yeah. All the candy and all the. You know, I, I mm. went trick or treating. You know what I'm saying? When I was <laughs> supposed to be. So in the you house. were married to her before your career took off. Yeah. Oh, and that's what happened. <laughs> that's what, yeah, that's what, what happened. He said. That's yeah. what happened. She got the taste. Yeah. 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 No, I got the I got the How I got long the were taste. you together before you decided to marry? I was eight, 18, 19. Mm, yeah. 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 So but she moved young. with you to LA too? She, we and moved together you to have LA. kids with her. Yeah, we have two kids. Mm-hmm. Right. My mm-hmm. first two kids. We moved to LA. I feel together. like that's what happened with me. I was happy in my relationship and then I got my foot into the door in the industry and I was like, uh, what relationship? I'm single. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> That's what people ask so, you. Are you so, in a relationship? So she can relate. You it are depends. not giving me any feminine thought process. She can relate. That's true. That's exactly it's what happened. It's all thug uh-huh. process uh-huh. with you, right? I was with sure. somebody for almost eight years. <laughs> like, I'm in these streets. Like. I'm out here. I'm out here. My Twitter, my followers went up on Twitter. My followers was like, was up. <laughs> she, tra- she tried. Uh, babe, babe, I can't post our pictures, okay? <laughs> oh, my God. Posting <laughs> pictures nowadays is like the ultimate. Mm-hmm. You know, people are like, look, I ain't, <laughs> once you post it, that's official official. So yeah. people got to date for like two, three years before they're like, they all right. post. <laughs> yeah, you ain't just posting. And do you take the pictures down immediately when you get, when you're not together anymore? I did. Yeah, yeah. 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 Immediately? Immediately. I did. Yeah. I did too. I mean, social media them wasn't there. <laughs> I deleted them. Yeah, social media wasn't up when I. So you wasn't even thinking so. about that. You know, and what's crazy is that like, it's crazy because. I'm gonna switch another lane. It's 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 a blessing that social media was not I around. I know it was for you in those early days. Uh-huh. Like you, like like I'm 43. Anybody close to where I'm 40? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So imagine if there was social media in <laughs> 2001. It'd have been over. 2002. <laughs> Like we were given a grace period. Yes, we were. <laughs> yeah, you was having a good old time. Now, I remember, and they were like, they didn't know planet. me back then, but I remember oh, seeing you Black in Black Miami Black. in Southeast with Jamie Foxx. And we were staying in the same hotel. Lord. She about to tell on you. No, he wasn't no, doing joking. nothing. <laughs> but I know they was out there wilding. Yes. And I remember being and like, that was in the early 2000s. And that was when you could really be a famous person, not an internet famous person. It was It was like you, know you really had I mean? to be. And it was yeah. a low hotel too. That's how I know they was doing it. It was low. Which it, hotel? It was like the Bentley Beach or something Bentley like that. Bentley Beach. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that? Day? Yeah. It had just opened. Yes. And I was yeah. thinking because somebody had got me a hookup. That's actually. So what was you doing there? I was actually I was with a bunch of my girls mm-hmm. because it was uh, Jennifer's birthday okay. from Basketball Wives. And so we were all, yeah, we were all out there. And so we got a hookup on this hotel. Hey, (laughs) what's going down at the Billy? Exactly. So I just help us. Imagine if they had social media back then. (laughs) I'm so happy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy y'all did. I'm, I'm happy. I, I, you know, I was younger at that mm-hmm. time, but I'm happy that I got to experience mm-hmm. seeing stars be stars and have privacy and do right. all of that. Not what's going on now. Everybody's just open about all their business. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so, I mean reality. Reality. The success of reality. Because you guys kinda were killed everything. Right. Yeah. Because because the fan no longer craved mystery. Although reality they, they, is they, fake to me. Well, now it's fake. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, because they did they did the analytics <laughs> on, you know, on reality and what mm-hmm. people respond to, you know, uh during all of these shows and all these things. So now they use the analytic mm-hmm. to create the narrative and now you have scripted they give it to reality. Right. You see what right. I'm saying? Gotta be right. interesting. But yeah. you know, in the beginning it was real. It was real. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so when people responded to it, people were like when it came to their artists, they were like, Well, Where's your reality yet? How do we connect with you? Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. old boy over here is losing his mind. They can really check him into a mental, mental institution. Mm-hmm. We're watching the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then you got guys like us who is like who were taught to just, you know what I'm saying, go in your hotel room and 
stay and retreat and don't come out and nobody right. see you and take the service elevator and then walk through. Mm. You know, now we walking in the front door. Mm. Hey, with our phone on, we in right. here. You right. You know what I'm saying? Like, watching TGT break you, up you know on <laughs> social media. You know like, you know like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, real damn. time. Yeah. Real time. Yeah. In real time. Yeah. But, that, but, that's, but that's the new goal. That's the new commodity. You, study. <laughs> <laughs> you be like, what day? So I know. Yeah. It was coming. It was coming. It was coming. It was coming. <laughs> That's the new girl. So no, but that. like when Will Smith came out on social media, he explained that like he comes from a time where celebrities, you know, they needed mystery to mm -hmm. be yeah. to feel like that superstar, and it was important. And now he's going nuts on social media. He loves it. <laughs> he he loves it. the favorite he, thing. He, he, but he's cheating. He's mm. cheating. Why? Okay? Because he has every resource he has known to, to man right. he has at his to disposal. Everything. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah, he does have the best Absolutely. Instagram He's not card making ever. regular content, like from no. a bottom-up content. None of his content oh, is Oh, I just like started it's, on it's Instagram. All his shit is He's just is being a, all his shit is a production. It's automatic. Right? It's all the production. Yeah, it's it's everything is a production. It's every it. post He is got produced. Martin Scorsese doing bits for him. Like, well, come on, man. You can't do that. All I heard was, he's cheating. And I'm like, with who? I'm like, confirmed. Yeah. I was like, whoa. No. I've he's, never heard nobody actually come out and say it Will, now. Will Smith is just, I mean, of course he's an anomaly. He's, uh -huh. he's yeah. just one of the greatest talents uh, I think this earth has ever seen. But yes, when he sure. puts his mind to taking over something, he does it's it. Instagram nothing over you can in 20 do. minutes. Right. Like he's Will Smith. What can't Will Smith do? <laughs> he can do everything. He can yes. do everything. He's Spanish. It's amazing. He can do everything. That's a lot of pressure, him. though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, oh, not yeah. just him. it's not just him. <laughs> he's not the only one who's you know the man. I got a little, you know what I'm saying, little Big Willie. Say more than that. Oh, 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 Big Willie. Okay, right? That. I pause yeah. quick. Yeah. <laughs> That's the show for it, though, if you want to talk. You know? <laughs> now, how do you. <laughs> I hate you more. Uh, I'm just saying. <laughs> it's a, no judgment here. Yeah, right. it's definitely no judgment zone. No judgment zone. Lip service. No judgment. Right. You suck the dick twice? No problem. No, no, no. no problem. <laughs> no problem. I actually like that. It's my favorite porn. It's my favorite porn episode. I got a little thing going. Y'all nice with it. Now, let's talk about keeping things spicy, right? Because mm -hmm. you have known your wife for almost 20 years. Mm -hmm. So, how do you guys keep things spicy? Like, do you do things like play dress up? Do you go out and do the whole stranger in a bar scenario? Any of those things? No. We don't. <laughs> that sounded so corny, Angela. She I said dress up. I'm like, No, Ew. we don't. We don't. No. <laughs> no role play at all? But that, I think, I think I still desire my woman. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't necessarily need her to be anybody else or, or for me to be anything. completely right. aroused and turned on by her. Mm -hmm. No I, scenarios, I, no like, I, okay, you a cheerleader, I I'm don't a football need it. player. It's, it's, it's always brand new to me. Mm -hmm. That's good. You know what I'm saying? That's how I That's treat amazing. it. amazing. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is, this is okay, yeah, first time. And it's crazy because... We spend so much time apart. Right. The excited you know what I'm anticipation. Saying? And our focuses are yeah. always so different. I'm on work. She got the kids. Mm -hmm. She got her beauty stuff. And mm -hmm. she got the house to take. You know what I mean? That mm -hmm. when we finally get it, when we finally actually get in there, <laughs> you know, whew, right. like, yeah. come on. We got 10 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, yeah. it, it's, it's finally a moment. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So we haven't even gotten to the space where we've exhausted Right. Just us yet. We haven't right. even exhausted that yet. So, do you feel like sometimes you know so well what makes you come, and your um, like your man knows what makes you come so well that you kind of do the same things, and you don't vary it because you're like, this is what always this works. works. Like to get that spot, you mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I I like what I like. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, I think that it, when it gets old to you, then yes, yeah, switch it up. But I mean, there are there are go to things. I mean, you right. can dance go around it all you want. But we know that's going to work. But the magic, is, is, the magic yeah. is what the magic is. Know you know what I'm saying? I got a few magical things that <laughs> I do that she know I can do. That she just, <laughs> that she be, well, when you going to do that? You know what I'm right, saying? Right, like, right. It's just, let's, get, let's get right to it. You know? like, we, don't oh, having, we don't be having a whole lot of time to be, you know what I'm saying? Beating around the right. bush. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you're going to lick behind. Stop with all this foreplay bullshit. Let's get to it. Licking behind the kneecaps today. That's cute. Can you get to the thing? Okay. Licking behind the kneecaps. How did she feel about your whole exposing yourself with your legs up in the air on the breakfast? club but she's she, like that she, was just our thing baby she thinks i'm a, she thinks i'm hilarious <laughs> like, she's like why do you do this because like it doesn't just affect me it affects her too right, so right. like you got people in I'm her dms just yeah, saying the I wildest shit ass. Ever. Yeah. oh you lick ass huh yeah. i gotta ask for you to lick like, <laughs> no, they just, man. 
far. It's too just, far. It's just like it really affects her. She's like, right. can you just stop saying this shit, <laughs> doing this shit? Right. Kicking um, ass is a wonderful thing. I just want to add. I just. Yeah. It's is. funny because I, I, like Angela said, she probably out with her friends. They're like, here, try this. Like, yeah. Not even yeah. sharing a drink yeah. with you, baby. <laughs> Not your drink. <laughs> Not your drink. Not your own. What you drink? I'm going to get one. I'm going to just get one. I'm I don't want E. coli. <laughs> E. coli? That's cold blood. That's cold blood. I'm clean, first of all. Oh, yeah. Do you clean? Okay. You got to clean your first butthole, all, right? I'm clean, first of all, all right? I stay with wet wipes. I don't play no game. You know what I'm saying? Even if I'm not using it, I freshen up. You know what I'm saying? Okay, girl, I, right? Ain't no whole lot of dudes that freshen up. I have I wipes in my up. bag right now. Just Me too. Case. I got baby wipes. Mm-hmm. But I know you talked about it on The Breakfast Club a little bit, but what do you think it is that guys are so scared to say that, like, you know, yeah. Because get, even though I they're like not saying they're doing it, it they're doing it. Mm-hmm. Well, because, right, we've come into a place where um, where the whole idea of being gay is, it's out, right? Mm-hmm. It, it is what it is. Everybody should be comfortable um, with that conversation. But you'll find that most men are still, no matter how much they talk about it in terms of somebody else, in terms of talking about things that may put them in that space, mm-hmm. Completely uncomfortable. Right. We'll not talk about it. We'll not address it. Nothing. They can't. Mm-hmm. Because they don't want to feel like, you know what I mean, they're they're put into the same category. Like they like it, but they won't tell you. Yeah. To. I think no, guys want you to do it to them, but they won't be like, they want to act surprised. Oh, yeah. this has never happened. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. But they're not going to say nothing. Right, yeah. right. But no, would you going. rather <laughs> live with not getting something done to you than just expressing how you really feel? That's crazy to me. It's I mean, it's a pride thing for men. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I mean, they'll they'll hide a man will hide behind that pride for life. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? That's just 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 this is how yeah. certain that's how most men are designed. Mm-hmm. I mean, they could be waving that pride flag. Yeah, mm-hmm. and they'll be judging other <laughs> people. In the air. Well, yeah, and then there's the judgment part. <laughs> yeah, of it. you know, people people I mean, people feel people fear judgment. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I I don't. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like I'm not. I don't either. I, 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 everything that I do with my woman, like I'm 100 percent secure right. about. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, you open the doors for a lot of guys to be like, okay, guys right. don't admit yeah, it. I mean, I'm listen. I'm not a homosexual, but I do. You know, I enjoy a little, little, little salad. You know mm-hmm. something I you know learned? No utensils, um, but something <laughs> I learned very recently was speaking with one, y'all know Trav. Mm-hmm. I had a conversation with Trav. We were out at lunch, mm-hmm. and I had a conversation with him about um, licking ass, basically, because I really love to do it. And um, he basically told me that, well, because I was saying, like, you know, men don't like to say they like it because they feel like it's, like, gay, da da And he's like, I'm as gay as they come, and I don't want nothing near my ass. He's, he's like, I'm a top. And he's like, so all gay men don't like that. Right. So it's a false narrative, right. so to speak. Right. right. Exactly. Right. I, see Gigi, I didn't know you loved eating ass like that. Yeah. She's like, yeah, I, I love like eating ass like that. I do love to do it. I still, I just it's the power. No joke. It's the, it's the power. It's the it's power. It's also how you do it. Like, if you, you can't like take both hands and spread yes, it. Yes, you can. Yeah. But it's the power. Speaking for sure, but it's the, it's the power. It's no that wrong that way to eat an ass. There's no wrong <laughs> way, but, <laughs> but 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 if you can get really into it, then you it's better. Yeah, I've if you never, get I've never, into I've never, yeah, I've never been in that position. I've, well, I've, you know, I've, I've had guys in that position, all fours, legs yeah, up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've, off to I've, the side. I haven't graduated to that. Okay, mm. yeah. well, you got I've some like, school to take. But yeah, yeah, it, yeah it's a turn on for me because it's it's an exchange of power, and that's why I love it. It's the the power that it gives me. I spoke about this on the Gillian Waddle episode. It's the power that it gives me that makes me love it so much right. because okay. I feel like I have him like I gotcha yeah I'm like right at the beginning stage you know or right. yeah that's like, what I always like, say can... about putting fingers in a guy's ass you know I always Mm-mm. say that it makes a guy my <laughs> bitch like, I don't know if you like a tongue, I don't really you love like doing and, and I don't, it. And listen, though. and I don't think that that makes a. I don't think that makes a guy a homosexual if no, he enjoys a woman. To put yeah, I don't think so either. I don't, think I don't that, either. But I just I don't, don't enjoy it. Gay. Right. I don't. Think. I think it's gay if I'm fisting you. No, yeah. Well, that's. Well, I don't think that's far. gay either. That's just fisting. A whole fist. That doesn't necessarily mean gay. Not put a whole fist in the guy's. But if you can fit a fist, is what I'm saying. Even like a four finger joint. But it's kind of like whoa, whoa, Let's think about it. Let's think about it. Let's think about it. Let's think about it. Let's think about it's it. It's still, it's still something consensual it. between yeah. a woman and a man. Mm-hmm. So how Absolutely. does it make him? And that's how I feel. Right. But yeah. see, this is my, my thing. sentiments exactly. If he's, if he wants a, if he wants a man to fist him, then, then there. That's that's where we cross the line. That's where the line. I don't think I should be fisting my man. Is if you could fit a fist, <clears throat> it's because a dick was there. Up was there. something that's else there? True. No, that's the what that's I would think in my mind. It was the last woman's fist. But what if before, like you got to because I. 
tried anal, I've done anal before, but it's hard. Like, mm -hmm. so it's, I can't only Relax imagine. Your jaw. Huh? Relax your jaw. <laughs> Shut up. I can only imagine <laughs> being able to just shove a fist up there. I know you can't shove a fist up mine right now. You know, so Let I think. Let me see. <laughs> well, you got to get to there. Come here. Exactly. So you got to go like one finger, two finger, finger, three finger fist. Suppose like you got to get there. I think like one finger. Woman you can't take a, a fist. fist. I, I think, think a finger. This, but I not like this. straight away. This. Exactly. Here's you got to get there. In. If somebody's at fist point. <laughs> fist point. Fist point. Wow. Somebody's at fist point. I've never done that. I fisted a girl in her vagina. They have either been doing this. At a very high level, mm -hmm. thank you for a long time. I, I don't want to fist the guy. They were just born with loose bowels, right? And that oh. is possible. They were born <laughs> right. with a broken <laughs> shit gripper. I wish yeah. mine was a little looser. <laughs> you want to fist up your ass? Oh my god! I don't want to fist, but I, it would be nice to take a dick in your ass. I can't even. You how know, you, I, I, mine's is so tight. How I do you know it would be nice to take a dick in your ass? <laughs> because I just, you know, it's, I imagine it, it looks be. fun. Ah. On on it on does it. Looks and on I've TV. done it before. Yeah. Does and the I've finger done feel it. good? Does the finger feel no. good? To, oh, oh. No, How do you know you don't like a dick? Then? No, it, the, it doesn't feel good. I've no, done you're not like a dick. Like like yeah, if you don't like a finger, you're, you're definitely not, like nah, not going to like a dick. I've done anal before and I've trained it up with an average size penis and it's trained. It, it got trained up enough to where we could actually fuck and it felt good. Okay. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But that's not the average experience. Hmm. You got to keep going till you get a fist up Nah, there. that's it. That's a, that, that was tolerance. so many yeah. years ago, though. I think that, that it, it shrinks and yeah. 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 I feel like there's a toy you could sit on at home to help you. Yeah, the nah, plug. I don't even want to. Plug, yeah. No, at these days, please. Okay. Like, it's it's, like, it's, it's just closed, over. It's, it's out of the forever. question. The closed, grand opening? Grand, grand closing. closing. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Do you talk shit during sex? Not like shit, shit. Like, what do you say? I say really basic stuff. Really, I'm surprised. And I don't. And I really don't talk much. Oh, because <laughs> she's a she's disappointed. disappointed. <laughs> yeah, I don't talk. I think I think if it's I think if it's intense, and you're that caught up in it, it's not really a whole lot to talk about. To talk about, yeah, right, right. Like I, I'm I into very, I'm into very con connective, like. Mm -hmm. spiritual experiences and you don't interrupt that by saying whose like, pussy is this exactly hmm. like I don't I'm not what right. about like I love you no I'm cool you don't say I love you during sex no or you don't ask her to tell you that she loves you no like tell me you love me no no that's a different kind of sex that's a different kind of thing mm -hmm. which is ah. which is which has its place in time you know what I'm saying right, that's right, fucking right, 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 right. you know okay. what I'm saying when you fucking that's not making love then that's different you know <laughs> what I'm saying then you can get into some yeah bitch told you you gonna get this whole <laughs> Tonight. Yeah, yeah <laughs> full thing. Um, that's that. You know what I'm saying? But when you That's pretty funny. You know what I'm saying? But when you When we Yeah. When you when you in there it ain't a, you when, can't talk. You know, I used to find that I used to talk a lot during sex, like, oh daddy and this and mm -hmm. whatever the hell that would come to my mind. I'm not talking. I used to do it when I was younger, but now I don't. I'd be forgetting. Like, damn, I might I make even some say animal nothing. noises, but I'm not talking. It, I, definitely animal animal moan. Noise, I definitely moan. I definitely moan. I because I feel. Yeah. I if it's feel. the right thing, I promise you, it will. It will. It will take all of those words away. Mm -hmm. you, That's what I'm saying, right? right. Exactly. Like you'll I'm telling you, I'm just so you'll feeling be it. I'll be so the, busy the feeling it. In, like I, I didn't even know. have. I was let lost for words. Not gonna be talking. The only thing I said was, my "Oh my god, I love you." <laughs> 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 that's it. That's, that's it. it. And that's what it's supposed to be. Sometimes <laughs> talking is fun, though. It's fun, but that's yeah. a different. I used that's to a do it a lot thing. when I was. You like being called, being called daddy, or is that weird? Doesn't matter. Cause I don't like when people are like, oh yeah, mommy. I'm like, I ain't nobody. I'm not, mommy yeah, I'm not, Chula. I'm not, I'm not, I'm no, none of, none of that does it for yeah, me. me. Like me I'm, either. I'm, and I'm a pleaser. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So okay. my thing is, my <laughs> thing is like getting you to that very special place to where mm. your body is floating off the bed. Mm -mm -mm. That's my job. Well, and that's what pleases me. Yeah. Every time he says something right. like that, I just think it. It sounds like a lyric. Just yeah, it does. <laughs> I can picture the video. And she, the she, she's like floating off the bed and shit. <laughs> he got his shirt off and shit. You <laughs> are <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> that was What yo. if she doesn't come? Do you feel like it's not over till she comes? It's not over. It's never over. Mm hmm. It's not over. <laughs> it's never over. RB. It's, it's never over. On, RB. RB sex. Okay. Yeah, it's never over. <laughs> Everything he says he is. I am, I am defeated. And, and I, I can't recall. 
but that I would be <laughs> defeated within my spirit. Mm-hmm. Oh, Mm-mm. We're not. That's you. not. We, that's not what we're here for. What if you come too fast and then now your dick is soft? It's not gonna happen. <laughs> I've trained myself. <laughs> no, trained but and then I'm he like could Mr. use Miyagi other other face. avenues. He could use his face, his mouth. Yeah, right? that's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. He can eat it. And that's like what I'm saying. Until so it gets hard again. And I teach mm-hmm. classes on that. Oh, well, mm-hmm. eating pussy. Oh yeah. Go ahead. We want to hear some. What's the class? Because mm-hmm. a lot of guys need a class. Yeah, give some tips. What would you talk? Get the cop. <laughs> <laughs> what? He could talk about it. <laughs> you just say get the cup. Yeah, get the cup. You gotta. You, to demonstrate on the cop. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Angela oh said God. no reenactments, but we can. But we, <laughs> he said, oh, she did. She did. Oh, no no reenactment. reenactments. She, she said that before uh, the show. Tired tired just, I, just, I just think I just think guys gotta focus. Mm-hmm. You gotta focus, and I think the key to to any part of sex and doing it well is to love pay it. attention to pay attention and to love pay it. Yes. You gotta you gotta love it and you gotta listen. Right. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to listen. You got to pay attention to what's happening. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you, as a woman, our bodies will let you know. It'll, it'll, it talks to you. We don't have to say anything. You don't have to say anything. Although our talking is good. You. Like, when somebody's eating you out, to kind of direct them. Do you, like, that's fine, right? Yeah, need, right I there I is a good signal to stay right there. Or like, they don't, don't, don't stay right there. there. They, they, they early, don't do in, something else because Early they're in my, in my <laughs> you know, eating career, you know what I'm saying? I would get some of those instructions. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? And as I as I became a master in this field, I, I don't get instructions. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are you like a sloppy pussy eater? Like, the whole bed is wet? I'm all of the above. Mm-hmm. Okay. He said, whatever it is, I'm that. Versatile. Well, I mean, and, 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 I'm, and I'm listening and I'm dialing in and I'm trying to figure out because you can't you can't eat every pussy the same way. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely not. You know what I'm Preach. saying? So, so you have to, you have to. <laughs> well, worked on her. You have to, to find it. You have to pay attention. You have to be like, oh, there's the groove. Here we go. And, mm-hmm. then, and, and, yeah. and you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see? And he knows what he's talking about. You absolutely. know how many people lip service, how many guys have learned how to eat pussy from listening to lip service? It's amazing. Yeah, From okay. us saying what we like. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And what we right. don't like. Cause mm-hmm. it's important to know what doesn't work. Right. You know? Like any type of thrusting, I think thrusting tongue doesn't really work. Or well, does it for it, you? It, it, it's a good um in between move. Yeah. yeah. It's but not, it's not the finisher. No, hell no. No, no. it's definitely not a finisher. It can't be the finisher. It's, not a close. it's impossible for that to finish. Yeah, and I don't like impossible. the finger and the tongue simultaneously. Some people like that. I like sucking I and it. a finger at the same time. Depends, yeah. You have to, it depends. It's yeah. nice. Yeah. Because yeah. sometimes if it's too much, it could be too much finger. Yeah. That's right. right. You know what I'm saying? And or you got to dial it back. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You got to you got to know where the area is. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And sometimes sometimes they don't even like that touch at the same time because if sometimes if a woman can't do both, you know what I'm saying? In terms of having an orgasm by penetration and an or, and, a, and a clitoral stimulation, then you know you kind of got to pick one. Mm-hmm. Not only do women can't do both, women don't even know that there's a difference. You'd be surprised how many women that don't really? know that there's a difference in the world. I just like yeah. to come. It don't matter which way it happened. Hello. We learned that from the show. <laughs> I felt like a lot of women, excuse me, <clears throat> didn't know the difference between Internal. when she was coming internally or from her clit or uh, whatever. Okay. But you know, there's we, difference. we mm-hmm. were trying to teach Chelsea Handler how to suck dick, right? Mm-hmm. So the <laughs> balls. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What do you think about like when you're getting head and the balls come into play? Do you want them played Correct. with, or, not with licked, or like sucked. how do you feel about that? Like, do you want them sucked, caressed, licked, or do you or like left them, them left alone? alone? I'm probably the wrong guy to ask. You're not a ball guy. Why is that? I'm balls? not. I'm not a big head guy. Oh, what? Really? Oh. Head guy. <laughs> I'm not, Why? I'm busy. You busy? <laughs> I'm busy. Like that's not what. That's not what turns me on. Oh, like, I was thinking maybe mm. because your dick is so big, like girls just don't do it, right? No, it's not. No, it's, not, no. it's not. It's it's just that, I, like, I'm busy doing all the work. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, that's, so you're a pleaser. I'm a pleaser. Yeah. Like, that's not, yeah. that, doesn't, that. that doesn't that doesn't turn me on. But some girls love to suck dick. <clears throat> no, no, and I respect it. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I'll I'll entertain it. I'll be respectful. I'll be. I'll be <laughs> 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 I'll be respectful. I'll let her suck my dick. Okay. Yeah. 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 If that's what you want to do. But can you not come from head? Or, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. It has but to be just, special. It's like mm-hmm. whatever. It, it has, has to be special. special. Yeah, it's got to be special to keep So you don't even like mind. your balls played with? Cool. Mm. I don't need it. Mm-hmm. I don't need it. You're minimal work. I am I am light work. <laughs> I bring all the work. Do you uh, masturbate in the bedroom? Like while you're there, like let me just jerk off a little... Rub one out here and there. You mean while I'm with yeah. or just by myself? By yeah, because you know sometimes we like to watch. 
Oh no, if she wants to watch, she can. But I mean, we I have we've done we've done it together. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Same time, man. Same time. I don't trust you. I feel like that's a nice <laughs> connection. Like, no, that, and that's a cool moment. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. you know, take a pause and, you know what I'm saying, manhandle yourselves. Right. You know what I'm saying? That type of thing. Yeah. yeah Do you I ever have to hold your comeback? Cool. Yeah. Yeah. He said he mastered that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, how, so how do you hold your comeback for guys that are coming too quick out there? It depends. <laughs> you have to, you have to, listen, you really have to find something that, that kind of gets you out of that space, <laughs> but still keeps the blood flowing. Right, so mm-hmm. you don't go down. So you don't go down because right. you can go down right. thinking about basketball and your stats. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like you could, you could really lose a lot of blood flow. Right. So you got to figure out the magic. <laughs> it's all stats. about balance. But it's can, all about balance. Can you tell us what you think about or no? No. <laughs> I want to know. I want to know. No. No. He thinks about his balls getting played. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh no, no, I call her out a little bit. <laughs> she about to give me head. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I got my own Jedi mind tricks that I play play on myself. No. <laughs> Yeah, some no. You, yeah, you get close. Like, oh boy. <laughs> and once oh boy. is there a point where you just can't stop it? Like where it's about to happen, and you're like, oh well, I just gotta let it go. If you're about to come, but you want to hold back, is there a point where? I mean, like, I have been in that position mm-hmm. where I just said, "All right, okay, right. <laughs> we'll go again." <laughs> Normally, better than in this. ten minutes. <laughs> give me, just give me ten give minutes. Me ten and, minutes. I, and, cool. and I need, and I, no, I need, I need a good. 17? <laughs> 17. 17 minutes. In between. That's not that bad. By that time, we done moved on. 20, uh, yeah, by that time, we got some food. What's on TV? Yeah, you like we that. We had red lobster, by the <laughs> We got an attitude. <laughs> Has really? it always been like that, though? Or like, do you feel like... As, as you I'm, get older. Yeah, younger. Well, you... no, I've, I've always, I've always, I've always kind of been mm-hmm. a one and done. <laughs> so, which is why I had to train my one right. to Make be a really right. fantastic right. <laughs> one. hour and a half to a two hour one. <laughs> it's got to be because we may not have nothing left. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I had to train that you one get it all. to yeah. be very fantastic. Like, like, you good? You sure? You straight? Because I'm, I'm going to go. You know, like, we done it? This, right. this, this is it. This is what we got. Once I go, we go. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no more to <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I mean, certain instances have prompted where there's been more than one. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I, mean, I can probably count them on one hand. But, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, you remember the first time you made a girl come? When we... <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> first time. <laughs> I remember the first time I almost did. <laughs> Almost. Almost doesn't count. Oh, <laughs> it, shit. And, that's, and, that, and, and that was the response. Wow. She had it was, blue balls. She it was, was like, God, it was one of the listen. It was one of the worst sexual experiences like, of my life. I was, I was, I was almost there. Just when a, almost listen, happened. When a woman gives you the sigh, <laughs> really? <sighs> yeah. When we give you that. <laughs> it'll change your life as a as a man, as a young boy. I don't care what it is. Like it'll change. And I was and I was wrecked. <laughs> I was, I was, I, and she was older. She was like six, seven years older than me, mm-hmm. and she just went into she this gear because when I was younger, um, it took me a minute to, like, to be able to hold myself together when a woman started getting her "I'm about to come" rhythm. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. That rhythm <laughs> was damaging to me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? As soon as you and you, as soon as she got into that she groove, she the beat. and then started yeah. moaning, <laughs> you lost I was like, it. Oh, sorry, you gotta, you, That's you gotta, the worst. Like, it should be right there. Like, and so that I had to. I, I was like, okay, I gotta figure this out. I gotta figure well, out. I'm glad to, you figured it how out. How to it hold this? Horrible. You know what I'm saying? Terrible. You know what I'm saying? And and so I just, you know, I trained myself to, um, to enjoy the moment a little less. You know what enjoy saying? the moment a little. Damn. Just 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 a just little to less so, to, hold to hold on. on. Cause, Cause we are trying so hard listen. to make sure we come, while y'all trying to make sure you don't come. It's it's such a it's That's such a true. it's, it's a such dance. a fantastic mm-hmm. moment like that that lead up. You know what I'm saying? When a right. woman is about to have an orgasm, and you can feel the throbbing. A, the, you can mm-hmm. feel the shaking. You mm-hmm. can feel the like the that's a that that segment is just it's a special moment. Mm-hmm. It's special, and I just it just it just blows my mind. It just killed me. It's well, special for us. So we went, we went Tank has to go because he has other things to do today. You know, he'll be. He's very busy. 
Sing and lead. <laughs> I got I to gotta sing lead. Uh, I, just so y'all know, I sing a little bit. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, I didn't know that. I had you know. no idea. I got a couple too. songs on the radio. Do yeah. you? Wow. Uh, he write a little bit too, write I heard. Write a bit, produce a little bit. <laughs> That's, That's amazing. Amazing. Uh, Just a little bit. Yeah, just he a little taste. He would have never known. Yeah. yeah. It's going He's well. not just on Instagram I know. giving advice. It's going well for right. me. She said I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know all about it. Yeah, the tour is going to be dope. Me, Robin Thicke, Fantasia. It's Fantasia's tour. Oh, yeah. We got to catch that. Bonfire. It's going to be crazy. All right, good. We're looking forward to it. And we are so happy I'm that we coming. finally got you up yes. here on Lip Service Thank you because for you are the, yes. I feel like, guy who loves to talk about relationship stuff and you have a lot of great things to say. Mm-hmm. And we may not always agree on things. You we're know? not supposed to. Yeah, and we're not supposed to. Yeah, that's but why we, that's it was why we a, exchange information. It was yeah. a great conversation. Yeah. Yes. Thank and um, so Tank, always a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Anything else you want to say before we get out of here? The new album comes out October 25th um, mm. called Elevation. Elevation. Um, you Come can pre-order it now. Um, it's available for pre-order. You get, ah, sorry. You get, <laughs> <laughs> you get three songs now if you pre-order. Oh, um, nice shit. So just you know, tap in with your uh, neighborhood R&B singer, <laughs> and uh, that'll be all. All right, Elevation, October twenty fifth. Tank, thank 25th. you so much. It's lip service.